Hey kids, welcome to our show, Two, Two Sisters, Sisters Baking. I'm Emma. And I'm Grace. And today we are making empty tomb rolls. In order to make these tomb rolls, you're gonna need a few ingredients. The first thing is sugar, cinnamon, and two things of crescent rolls. Next, you'll need one stick of butter and one package of marshmallows. Before we start baking our rolls, we want to start with washing our hands. Make sure you do it for 20 seconds with warm water and lots of soap. If you get bored, just sing a Taylor Swift song in your head. And then you want to make sure your oven's preheated. So you're going to go to bake and make sure it's at 375 degrees and you're going to press start. And if you need help with this, you can just ask your parents. First step is going to be breaking our crescent rolls open. There's a little arrow that says start here. And then you just pop it. <laughs> Life hack, hit it against the counter. There we go. If you want easier cleanup, you can fit a piece of parchment paper onto your baking sheet and then it'll be super easy when they're done baking to clean them up. With your one stick of butter, place it in a glass bowl and put it in the microwave to melt it. 30 seconds should do the trick. While your butter's melting, you want to take half a cup of sugar, pour it into a little bowl, and then you're going to take two tablespoons of cinnamon, which kind of looks like a lot, but it'll taste good. Make sure it's evened out. I'm just going to dump one and then two into the bowl. And then you're gonna take this together and stir it to make sure that all the cinnamon and sugar is mixed together. Alrighty, now you wanna unroll all of your crescent rolls and set them out very nicely because this is what we're going to be using next. To start the inside of the tomb, take one marshmallow and put it in your melted butter. Be very generous with this. Make sure it's totally coated in butter and then place it in your cinnamon and sugar. Now you're gonna coat it with cinnamon and sugar. Again, very generous, make sure it's full. And then you're gonna place it in your tomb. And then once you get it here, you're just gonna wrap it. You wanna make sure that it fully covers the marshmallow because the marshmallow will spill out while it's baking. So there you go, it's wrapped, and then it's ready to go on your baking sheet. And you'll just repeat this until all the crescent rolls are full. In order to make sure that your marshmallow doesn't come out when it's baking, you want to, all these creases right here, you want to just roll them a little bit so they look like this. A little closed up. Now we're going to place our rolls in the oven. Make sure you ask your parents for help because the oven's really hot and we don't want to get burned. Now you're going to close your oven and set a timer for 10 minutes or until they're golden brown, so you wanna keep checking. While you're waiting, make sure to do some Easter trivia to keep you busy. All right, Grace, what's the question? I think I have one. This is kind of a hard one, but how many days did it take for Jesus to rise again? Okay, think about it, think about it. Pause the, Pause the video. Time. No cheating. Pause the video if you need more time. Are you ready? I think they're ready. I, I think they're ready. Three days! Grace, I don't really have any Easter trivia left, but I do have some Christmas trivia. Christmas, you what? Yeah, she loves Christmas. I love Christmas. So, I have a hard question for you. How many days after Easter do you think Christmas is? Ooh, let me think. In the 200s, maybe? I don't know. Kids, what do you think? Pause the video and then find out. Christmas is 257 days after Easter. Don't let that leap year fool ya. Yep, that's just this year. All right, Grace, last question. Since we're stuck in quarantine right now, what's your favorite thing to do? You're looking at it. I've been baking and cooking and helping my mom make... <gasps> I did that on <laughs> So you're gonna wanna turn your timer off and then take a little peek in. All righty, kids. Our rolls have just come out of the oven and I think it's time for a taste test. I think so too. All righty. What? Look at that. 
There's nothing inside of it. Empty tomb. I guess that's what happened on Easter Sunday. Jesus wasn't in the tomb. He rose again. Hey, Rancho Kids, thanks for watching Two Sisters Baking.